Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Tyler, sunny Sunday today. Well, you... at least a couple of hours. Yeah, I know. I know. Were you able to enjoy it? Yeah, I was happy that it actually happened. We got temperatures, uh, you know, pretty good in the 50s. And going forward, there's a little bit of a shortage of sun. I think there's a little tomorrow, but Tuesday's probably the pick of the week. Right now, it's uh, interesting to see so many showers still left on the map at 10 o'clock. Most of them here is St. Lawrence County. We had some lightning strikes earlier, but those are gone. The lightning's gone. Just some light raindrops here from Bristol through Middlebury, down through Brandon along Route 7. Just rain, even in the mountains right now. Manchester, a little bit of a heftier shower there in northern Bennington County. So going forward, it's complicated. It's up and down the whole forecast. I think there's a few showers tomorrow. Tuesday looks really good after some morning showers on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday and Thursday, it looked like there was rain on the way, but now possibly snow on Wednesday because the whole storm has trended colder. We'll take a look in a little bit. Right now we've got 40 in St. Jay and Saranac Lake, 50 in Messina, 45 in Rutland. And Futurecast shows the clouds tomorrow morning, so not too great early on. But I think by late morning and early afternoon, there's some showers that bubble up right over the Champlain Valley. So thinking a, a little bit wet midday tomorrow. Those get out of here. There's actually a clear window there or first part of tomorrow night, but then first thing on Tuesday, this is Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. There's a few showers going through. I wouldn't let that discourage you about Tuesday because most of Tuesday turns out pretty nice with sun mixing with clouds. And when you look at the whole forecast, that's a pretty nice forecast on Tuesday because it goes downhill after that. In fact, this here Wednesday morning, there's snow moving in. And then it lasts for a good part of Wednesday. Now, a lot of questions here. How far north does it come is one, because just yesterday, if you watched, the storm was a lot farther north. So we have to figure that northern edge out and just how cold it'll be. Clearly, this future cast runs very cold, just as an example. This is early to show a map like this, but I show it and mention that it's early and hope everyone understands the chance there for some grassy accumulation, grassy uh, snow accumulation in the trees too. But I think there's a lot of potential for that band to shift as we go forward just because of how much it's already changed. Just know that the forecast is a little sketchy there on Wednesday. Thursday, it's windy and feels like winter with snow showers in the air. That's been the call for a while, but then we'll warm up there for Friday. So tomorrow morning, 30s with a lot of clouds and then Temperatures tomorrow, not bad, right around 60 in Morrisville and Milton, 62 in Burlington. Try lakes coming in in the mid and upper 50s. Remember, just a couple of raindrops there midday, 60 in Ludlow tomorrow. And then the five-day forecast looks like this. Tuesday morning, there's just that one little shower in the morning, and then the sun comes out. So I really like Tuesday. But Wednesday, that's when we could have some of that snow that sticks to just about everything but the pavement, that kind of thing. And then on Thursday, there's wind with snow showers, mostly in the mountains. I like the looks of next Saturday, though. Should be sunny with 60s. Liz?